Um, I want to make it real clear that I am no hero. My daughters are the heroes and all the victims and the survivors of this a terrible atrocity. Um, I'm going to read from a statement. You can use it, you can not use it, but after I do this statement, that's the last statements I'm making. I wrote this statement. This morning, I got up with full intention to go to work. I was going to stop by the courthouse for support. I knew my daughters were going to make an impact statement. I did not know the content in the impact statement. We went to the podium, Sherry, their mother, and myself, in support of the two daughters. When I had to hear what was said in those statements, and I have to look over at Larry Nasser shaking his head, that's when I lost control. I'm not advocating that everyone should do that. I feel very remorseful, um, very apologetic. I was embarrassed. I thank Judge Cunningham and all the court system for their leniency on me. This is, uh, cannot be a lawless society. I know that. I lost control, but I regained control later in a holding cell. Um, when my children were little, they were taught to respect and obey and trust authority. That means the police and their parents and their teachers and their coaches and their doctors. They were taught to respect and obey and trust adults because adults would teach them the proper way to live their lives. And we see what happened there. When the girls were little, Sherry and myself worked hard to provide extra opportunities for our children. And they found these opportunities on the athletic fields. They all participated in sports camps and traveling teams, and uh, they all played basketball and softball and volleyball, ran track, cross country, and gymnastics. And then the injuries started showing up. Almost immediately, we're getting, this family's getting professional advice to see one of the top doctors in his field, Larry Nasser. And I should have felt privileged for paying the invoices because after all, he was taking care of Michigan State University athletes as well as Olympians. I allowed myself to take this uh, advice. I fell for the Michigan State hype. I was blinded to the fancy degrees hanging on an office wall. And I delivered unintentionally my three daughters to a demon who had his own twisted and sick agenda for his own demented desires. Now I have to live with the fact that I failed to protect my daughters. This is a strong family. We will get through it. <clears throat> Sometimes the relationships between my daughters have been strained, stressed, distant, I was always trying to figure that out. I was always frustrated and puzzled. I always tried to work as hard as I could to be a good father. And now I know what one of the reasons were the main reason. It, it, the reason was Larry Nasser. Now I have to worry if my daughters can ever trust another man the rest of their life. The survivors and the victims are the most important now. And my daughters are a part of that. Um, if it wasn't for all the brave girls and women that have come forward before now, I don't know if my family could have came forward now. So I appreciate and thank all the victims and the survivors for what they've done. I do not doubt for a minute all the people who have come forward, there was probably even more victims out there that have yet to come forward. And to them I say I wish you well, and I hope you can find the inner strength to go down the path of recovery. Like I said, the victims and survivors are the most important, but I represent the parents and the grandparents 
and the family members and the friends and the community members and the coaches and the teachers, all who have cared and taught and loved all these kids, not just my kids, all those kids, the right way. I thank all of those for their support. I want to wrap this up. I will tell you that I believe in God Almighty. I believe in heaven and hell. And I can only hope when the day comes that Larry Nasser has ended his days on this earth, that he will be escorted to one of the deepest, darkest, hottest pits in hell there is for him and people like him. I hope there's a lot of pain attached to it because he's certainly left a lot of pain here on this earth. That's all I have to say, and I want to thank everyone for coming out. Thank you. Now, I'll 